Water sustainability is a concern for all of us, living in Tucson, living in Arizona, in the U.S. and the world. The University of Arizona is a hub for research and education and outreach on issues relating to water quality. And this is a wetlands where uh, water that's been treated comes here. It feeds all this plant and trees and supports the birds and animal life here. And it's water that's treated wastewater. It is the same water, actually, that the West Center is doing its research on. It is a living laboratory here. And I can't think of a better place to be doing research on water than right here. West Center was a collaborative project between Pima County Wastewater and the University of Arizona. Probably about three years ago, we constructed this facility. We have companies that have expertise like UV Trojan and Dow Chemical that um, have technologies to be able to purify water. We take their interesting technologies, pair it with researchers at the University of Arizona from a variety of disciplines so that we can work as teams to make all of these processes more efficient, um, remove the compounds that we want, and um, use a lot less energy. And we do things at really larger scale. So instead of me playing in the lab, where I just kind of work, you know, with a little beaker. Um, here, all the researchers can work on gallons per minute capacities, you, taking real effluent and real different types of wastewaters, purifying it um, for the need that they have. Animox is a really interesting technology. It's only been discovered and uh, people made aware of it for about the last 20 years. It's anaerobic ammonia oxidation. It's a type of bacteria that the traditional BNR process, you take ammonia to nitrite and nitrate. Animox allow, allows you to bypass that and go straight to nitrogen gas from ammonia and nitrite. So in a utility such as ours, our biggest single cost is electricity. Electricity to move the water, electricity to aerate that water to get that nitrogen conversion. With an anaerobic process, we use about 60% less air, which translates to 60% less energy. It's a huge energy savings. And so we're piloting it here. We're looking at processes that have been used worldwide. Our goal is to bring that technology back to the United States and see it in utilities throughout the U.S. I'm particularly excited about the opportunities to do research on reverse osmosis membranes and that technology. And West is well suited to do that now with its brand new RO skid that, that has, has been delivered and installed there. The RO skid is a hybrid membrane system. It actually is comprised of an ultrafiltration unit as a pretreatment stage to the reverse osmosis system. So essentially what we're trying to do here is we're trying to use the ultrafiltration system to protect our reverse osmosis membranes. We are fortunate that the West Center it's, it's co-located uh, with the wastewater treatment plant. So we have uh, uh, treated wastewater on tap here, which is pretty unusual and it's really convenient. So we can have like numerous uh, uh, pilot scale systems uh, working full time, 24 seven with real wastewater. And also uh, it's, it's a pretty large facility and it's really nice to have uh, um, several uh, professors and PIs working here together with students and postdocs. Working alongside the university research is a very special opportunity. It allows us to really put hands-on application, real-world application to traditional research. And so we, you get to see that research played out on a large scale. We won a 2016 prize, and it was the Water Innovation Challenge. It was designed to think far ahead, 2030, you know, 2040. What is Arizona going to do if there's extended drought? There's the Colorado River. Uh, we have to start rationing here in Arizona. So as a wastewater utility, we pitched portable reefs. And to demonstrate that, we built the treatment plant in a trailer, in a semi-trailer, and we took it all around the state. We've taken it to Colorado, Idaho. We take it to different cities. We purify their treated wastewater into ultra-pure drinking water, and then we give that water to brewers to make high-quality beer to try to help uh, engage public discussion. The brewers themselves, they love the water because the water is so pure, it's purer than the water they can get locally, and so it allows them to have a clean palate from which to build up their recipe. West is a place for solving problems. 
and I'm really excited about its potential to bring together industry, academia, water utilities, wastewater utilities to work on the world's most pressing water problems.